Welcome to Brap Star. Oh, Hi, I'm Shay Lisi, and welcome back to my channel. We are living to ride and riding to brunch. The Green Goblin needs more seat time. I knew that if I put a little more mental energy into fixing this, that I could. The 360 cam sent us a bunch of weird attachments for it. I don't think that's all the way. No, it's not. Well, I think it's about a 10 foot tall GoPro mount. We're gonna take it on the bike and see how it works. Today is Friday, which means no responsibilities. First day of the weekend, it's brunch day. Fine, the pegs are fine. Well, it's fine because I don't have to sit back there. I love that Florida does not have any vehicle inspections. Could you imagine? Like I said in my last episode, Florida is full of trash and all of our vehicles are very much so like that. I know some states do a vehicle inspection, but Florida could never. making fun of me, I don't know. I never know if people are laughing at me or with me. You can't let other people's opinion of what you're doing dictate how you live your life. You take that selfie in public if you want to. <laughs> Ride a gold wing if you want to. Be loud, be ridiculous, be who you wanna be. Cause at the end of the day, someone's not gonna like you anyway. So you might as well have fun and do what you want. At least I rode my cool bike out today and I'm not on the PC 800. Then I know they'd be laughing at me and not with me. And with a $25 donation to Forgotten Angels, someone could be laughing at you too. We're giving away not my PC 800, but a PC 800 for a $25 donation. As most of you know, Forgotten Angels is a charity that helps kids who aged out of foster care. I don't think anyone ever really ages out of needing a parent. It's more than just giving kids the money for what they need. It's about guiding them into a positive future to be a part of the community instead of just cast aside and forgotten about. In Florida and in a lot of states, people use foster care as a for-profit system and they just put all these kids in a home. They're not required to even feed them. All they need to do is put a roof over their head. They can fit as many kids in a room in a four bedroom house and that's turning a profit for them. Some of the kids at Forgotten Angels come in not even knowing how to tie their shoes. So Forgotten Angels is truly more, so much more than handing kids money because these boys do matter. Every single kid in the foster system matters and every single person matters. You matter. Did I miss it? I didn't think so either. I'm never sure. It's a fair thing to assume that I drove too far. So the link to the raffle will be available in the description down below until May 22nd when we announce the winner at the Dirty Shame at the Rats and Wrath Market. Breakfast. Well, it's definitely brunch now. <laughs> what if I took up the whole parking spot to myself? That'd be funny. I'm honestly just gonna park on the street. It wasn't me. They thought, saw me running the red light. It wasn't me. They even got it on camera. It wasn't me. You know who else has a big cake? <laughs> The pancakes here at Trip Steiner are called hub cakes because they're as big as a hub cake. Do it. I feel challenged. Do it. Do it, Anakin. Oh wow, look at this metal chicken. Those hanging plants are very expensive too. Wow. Wow. I wanna plant some flowers, okay.
We got too many bikes. Me so like bike. Plant time comes when you're coming out of a severe depression and all your plants are half dead and they need new houses. The lizard hunts the bug and then the Bilbo hunts the lizard. We're like fing Nat Geo, bro. Got the seeds. My potting. Oh my god. Do you see the sweat? It's so hot. Yeah, you, it looks like it's beaming down it's, on you. It's hot. Okay, so. My potting soil was infested with roaches, which is pretty common if you live in Florida. So I just dumped it on the ground here and we're gonna plant some sunflowers because Josh really likes mammoth sunflowers. We had a lizard hunting the roaches that I just dumped out and now Bilbo is hunting the lizards. It's the circle of life. It's the best part of sunflower seeds is you can literally just dump them on the top. Like you, I don't even need to dig. I'm just doing it to be nice. I feel like a squirrel right now. <laughs> Are you gonna forget where you planted them too? Oh! So many! <laughs> Just enough. I guess Josh did say he wanted to plant some along the other fence line too, and I used the entire two bags. I probably didn't need to. Perlite, I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know everything. I have approximate knowledge of many things, but master of none. Best if you buy it from somewhere local and they'll sell you a garbage bag full. Personally, is to buy the straight manure from Home Depot and then mix it with perlite just because I need so much freaking dirt and I need it often. Just gardening things. <laughs> just dig the dirt out of the ground. Dude, the ground in. The soil in Florida sucks, dude. Yeah, it is literally sand here. My plants need nutrients. I tend to care about my plants every so often when I'm trying to come out of like a depressive fit. I just do plant time. And all my plants are like, thank God. I don't know if it's recording, but it might be. Story of my life. <laughs> yeah, throw up on this side now. Throw it up, throw it up. Okay, it was. <laughs> Not focus, of course. Never. This camera sucks ass. Everyone in the comments keeps telling me like, Shay, your camera's out of focus. I'm like, dude, I know. I don't know how to fix it. Ta-da. Satisfying. This is, yeah, I know. <laughs> this is why I do it. It's satisfying. This is a good hobby to have. Healthy. Good Taking care of things is helpful for your mental health. I just need things to need me, okay? Don't we all? Yeah. I feel like, yeah, this plant fodder is probably good for it. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it, but I'm really excited. Because that plant can survive anything, I can put it anywhere in my house. There's like no rules. That's fair. And it's, that's really, really exciting because a lot of plants have rules. This one has no rules. You can do anything to it. You hear that? You got a crazy life ahead of you. Welcome to Brap Star. So I actually got that plant there from my friend because he just started riding motorcycles. He did something that I always do and he left his key on and he texted me being like, oh dude, I left my bike on. Could you give me a jump? And I was like, finally, all those times that I left my bike on and I needed a jump, I can repay it to the world. And then he gave me a plant. So now we're even. And though I felt like I was paying it back to all the times that I had left my bike on, so. Thanks, Kev. That's called the moon leaf, because it's what gave birth to the new plant. Thank you for your sacrifice, mother leaf. Oh, plant. Oh, it looks so sad. Because it, it got root rot and it died. Oh. See, this is the one we got the other day, remember? It's Wait, did I just put this knot in the plastic? I'm such a dipshit. <laughs> Something's wrong with my brain, bro. You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. Sweaty. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. It's hot. Literally hasn't even been in a pot for like two weeks and it's doing just fine. You cannot kill this plant. Let's recover. Ow, dirt in my eye holes. I feel pain, only pain. I'm so sorry. On the bright side, I got that really clear in shot. I don't, these roots are so delicate. It just looks so aggressive. 
I know, I'm not very delicate. Throws a fucking mound of dirt on top. What else am I supposed to do? I'm I know. Like, and I just haven't repotted them since then. But I've had this plant for like, God, so many years, honestly, like four years. His name is Janet Craig. That's like actually what the plant's name is. I didn't <laughs> name it that. Why is it called that? I don't know, that's just the name of the plant. <laughs> so this one, I forgot to water. I also put it in a spot it didn't wanna be, but it's not dead. What's don't it? judge me. <laughs> Dude, fuck plant TikTok is gonna roast the fuck out of me. You should just clip this video and put it on TikTok and see how it goes. Uh, no. And be like, <laughs> cringe compilation. No, check this out. So you can literally just, this is gonna work. Check this out, it's gonna work. I'm check checking it out. <laughs> check me out, it's gonna work. I've killed it. I've done this to this plant multiple times. What exactly did you do to it? Nothing. I guess that could be problematic. So what I've been doing actually is I take all these dead plants and I throw them in my compost bin and they come back to life. What? I mean, I'm serious, dude. Look, there's a plant growing out of my compost bin right now. I pulled the plant out of there a week ago. And I was like, so fuck, I thought you were dead. She's like, I'm back, bitch. This won't be the last of me. Sometimes you have to get plants to their lowest so that they can know how good they really have it. Uh. Shaylee's knee just came for my daddy issues. Like we don't both have an equivalent amount of daddy issue. <laughs> I think this one's just dead. I don't know. I'll put it in my compost bin and see what happens. There you go. Maybe she'll sprout again. You no, know, it actually might be alive. Yeah, I was gonna say, she's, she's fine. It is. It's alive. Yeah. Cool. That means I don't even have to put it in the console. It's been, I just put it in some soil. She lives to see another day, not in darkness and in garbage. Hey, living in the compost bin is a good life for a plant. They love it in there. There's That's so true. much nitrogen in there. Check me out. Check me out, I'm in pain. Now it looks like tentacles. Some plants really be like, boo-hoo, I'm allergic to tap water. I have plants that are allergic to top, tap water. That's this one. This one's allergic to tap water. That's why it looks like that. Oh, this little pink guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you killed her. I know. But and it's like, one. I know it's allergic to tap water and I still give it tap water anyway. <laughs> And this one thrives on neglect. Me too. Just like us. I'm learning so much. I've killed more plants that I own. That's what I always say to somebody who's just getting into plants. And I was like, and I'm constantly... I know, we're trying to have a conversation I here. know. I'm constantly killing my plants. Like, you just saw me, like, repot a bunch of dead plants. And I have, like, so many. I'm, even though I'm knowledgeable, doesn't mean I'm good at it. It's Sometimes like any hobby. Nobody's good when they start. What the hell? All my carnivorous plants died. <laughs> no! When's the last time you watered yourself? She's so nosy. <laughs> so obsessed with me. A job well done. Yeah. Oh god. Sorry, something got on me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the Ding Dong Doodle and do all the things. I will see you here next week. Bye.